For Sitecore, any custom solutions, we have to create ASP.NET MVC application. In this system, we installed Sitecore 9.0. Let me show. Yeah, it is working and I will show the admin. So it is logging in. So it is a 9.0 update one. So this is the basic version we have. Doesn't, we don't have any content. Now I'm going to be create the sample basic MVC application, how you can integrate it with this site code. I am using Visual Studio 2019. I am creating a sample application. So first I will create plan solution. Now I'm adding ASP.NET web application. I'm selecting this one, ASP.NET application. Okay, keeping my travel dot portal. Now here I'm using the latest version of the uh, .NET framework. You can use 4.6.2 or 4.7.2. We are using 9.0, so you can use above 4.6.102 so i'm using i'm taking the latest one asp.net mvc application is sample application is created so now i i want to do i will execute a couple of steps that means first of all i will delete what i don't want so by default, this application will come up with some uh, controller model views. I am deleting one by one, which is not required for me. I am deleting the controller. Script. So in the views, I'm deleting this one, shared, I'm deleting. I'm keeping the web.config, I will tell the reason. So I'm deleting this one. I, at present, I'm deleting the global.asx also. So, okay, this is the, so whatever the basic template generates, all are deleted except these two, these folders. So now I'm going to be create So like initially while starting the project it may be one site or later on can add more sites so just I'm creating the areas folder and so my site is the like blog so the blog has generally the structure of the uh, in the MVC controllers models and views I'm keeping this one and uh, in the views also just I'm creating shared so shared and under the shared, just I'm creating the layout. So 
so mbc file is our system layout to master so here just uh, just mm, h1 page just uh, okay now just i created a uh, layout and this web.config i am drag and drop here so whatever that comes with that i am keeping this one i am deleting now this folder now this is a basic structure and next one is whenever like this is a custom application whenever i publish this one to this ias so i need to publish to where i need to publish here at this time like whatever the web.config it will be override so what i can do is just i am going here just i am keep copy of this web.config just i will tell why i'm just taking the copy of this one now i am going to the my site core instance and the web.conf of the existing one whatever the vanilla version of the site core when i install i got some configuration so everything i'm copying i'm going to the solution um, completely I'm replacing here so whenever I publish these artifacts to the uh, target so it won't like it will override right so the same config should be there so now I am like just I took it the basic MVC application I deleted unnecessary things and I added the basic stuff and now I'm publishing that one So now I need to choose the folder because it is my local path I need to be to. So go ident pub where the site core instance is, it is in the here. So before publishing, so what I, I want to do is I want to show the difference. Difference between like what it was there, the originally, and after publishing what, what are the DLS it copied there. So just I'm taking the copy of the the original instance it takes some time uh, the copy is done now i'm going to be installed whatever i created so it is inet main inet pub ww root this is the path i need to publish so go to the advanced change to debug yeah so first I am creating the profile and rename it local dot profile I created so once I publish here it will be going to this path these are all artifacts will go to this path so just I am save and delete here so now here I'm selecting like web once uh, click publish so I will get it here so I'm publishing this one so if I come and check here so yeah the publishing is done while publishing you can see here what are the uh, things it created the folder of this one and whatever i created all it published so if i come and see here i can see this one this is a folder i created this one and these files i created this one yeah so i want to check like you don't know about other things what dls it copied so what you can do is you can go and compare so for this one you can install beyond compare for the windows version it is very good to compare the two folders so i already installed so if i here 
just I'm going, I'm going to be compare the older one before installing and after installing. Okay, this is the before install. Install. This is after install. If I see the difference, like after install, I, uh, areas folder came, and if even if I see the in the app uh, data, there is difference logs. This is leave the logs that one, and if I go for the pin, I can see, you can see this one. This is a PDB. I leave it this one, the major one, and this DLL added, and uh, there is a change here. And even like my project solution. So the assembly is the uh, my travel dot portal. So that DLL and PDB. And there is a change in the uh, Newton soft. Like just let me see. The previous version is the 9.0, and now the latest version is copied the 11.0. And if I go down. Yeah, the couple of changes it done. Even you see system dot mvc the previously five point two point three now five point two point seven it installed. Okay, now we will try to be browse whether is complaining anything. We got an error. What it is complaining? So it is saying that when the site core is expecting the uh, system dot web dot mvc with version of five point two point three. There is, that is a uh, uh, like the assembly it is expecting, but it unable to find that. So as I just now said, in the comparison, if I see the system dot web dot mpc, this is the difference. So it is the older version that the previously it was a 5.2.3 assembly is there. Now after publishing, after publishing my uh, custom site code change, the custom like mpc application. The DLL was replaced by 5.2.7. So what you need to do is, so for this one, the solution is here. If I come into, if I go for back here, just this is the old one, right? Before when the solution was created, first it was there. If I see side for MBC, if I see this one. So any version between these two try to be like point to this new version. So what I'm doing this is uh, copy. So okay, system dot web dot mvc. Okay, here okay, this is the one. Okay, now I am whatever it complained, I resolved that one. Let me see what other it will comply. So we got another error. That is the uh, Newton soft JSON, the version is expecting 9.0. So if I go here, as I said, the previous 9.0 is there. That's why it was working the application. Now it was replaced by the 11, the same. We need to do the same thing here. So the very Newton soft, like this is the one. There is a Newton soft. Okay, we resolve this publishing the changes and try to see. Now application is running, so it come it, it, it like reported only two issues of the system dot web dot mvc and Newton soft JSON. Now you may be think that one like why it did not complain about the rest of the DLS. Let me see. So there is a like what is the, this version the the, uh, the version did not change that's why it did not complain that one. So it may be like the rest of the uh, like DLS the version did not change. So only two changes. Okay, we done that one. Now so I want to be like change this home page with my custom whatever the layout I created. I want to display that one. So for this one, I need to really log into the site code. So I'm logging in as an admin. 
So first you create a layout. So this is under the layout. I am creating a folder. My project name, my travel. Inside I am creating a VC layout. Okay. Master layout. Here like I want to be this in the so select this path, shared path, okay. Okay, this is the path, but we don't want this name. If I go and check the site core, the physical physical location, it is created this page. So we don't want that page. We want like what we created one. So just we are changing the name. Yeah, we are saving this. And we are deleting, we don't want to require this one. So I created this one. Now I'm coming to the home. I'm configuring the layout. So I will talk about the shared layout later. So go to here, final layout. So I'm choosing my layout. Yeah, just layout, I selected that one. So I'm publishing this. Done. I'm publishing this one. Well, publishing this one, I already choose the publish sub item, so it, it will also publish the the master layout also. Done. Now I'm refreshing this one. So whatever I my master layout, it has to be populated. Yep. So it is coming. It is a home page. So I customized the layout. 